Hi there. We're going to talk about, we already did, but it's not going away. So if, you're, if you struggled with it for a bit at the beginning, uh, we're going to do more of those questions. So hang in there and uh, do, do your best, right? And again, it's exercise, right? Exercise, you don't get good at it. You don't gain results after one or two sessions, right? You got to continuously do that to improve, all right? So yesterday we, we started talking about something that's not very easy to do, right? For some of us, this is uh, something we struggle with. And so I gave you this handout. So if you come in through this class, there uh, you should get this handout. And we started working through these questions, right? So it's working backwards. They give us area or circumference when it's a circle. And we work backwards to go through this. Okay, so get this handout if you have it. If not, do it on loose leaf. Call it this, right? Put the heading on this. We're going to continue with the back side. Yeah, I'm going to do attendance in a bit. This is also available as a PDF online. If you go to classwork, it's there. I think I posted it yesterday. So get that ready. All right. So we found uh, we ended up working with circles, right? And we went from, you know, the area of a circle in question three, right? The circumference to area, and then we went from area to circumference. So the the key thing is always to remember you need your radius, right? Um, but you might start differently. And these formulas, right, this one right here, as well as this one right here, I would have those all on my study sheet. That way you don't need to uh, start from scratch, right? So let's do the back side here. Patrick, you're here. Okay. Isabella, okay. Anybody else? Carter. Okay. Uh, all right. Number five. The circumference of a circle measures a thousand miles. Calculate the area of the circle. Again, we're talking about a circle, right? So we know that the radius, you can find it by taking the area divided by pi. Right, you get the radius there, or you know that the radius is also circumference divided by two pi. Right, so these are the two backwards formulas where, where you get the radius if you're given the circumference or area. Right, in this case, they're giving you the circumference. This is C, right? That's a circumference. So therefore, let's say you go to your study sheet and you you got to pick one of these two. You're going to pick that one because this one involves the circumference. So radius is going to be 1,000 divided by 2 pi. So again, you get, you get your calculator, you go 1,000 divided by, you got to be careful. If you go divided by 2 times pi like this, you're going to get the wrong answer. It has to be divided by 2 times pi in brackets. And if you don't have brackets, then you need to figure out what 2 times pi is first and then go 1,000 divided by that number. Okay, So it's 159.15. Okay. So this question would easily be a two-mark question, right? 
this is a two mark question so this comes first and now you can calculate the area area is the original formula of area of a circle which is pi r squared and that would be pi times 159.15 squared right so you go pi or 3.14159 right times 159.15 squared like that and that is 79 572.53 square miles there it is So write this down on loose leaf and then when you come in this week or next week then uh, you'll get it okay here's another one the area of a triangle there it is we've got a triangle going on now right the area of a triangle is 850 the height measures 45 meters what is the length of the base so you should recognize that this is a backwards question because the area is already given okay so let's go back i think i gave this to you did i give this to you on the front let me just check yeah the very first question right this is the uh, formula for your area and from that we can get our base by doing this or our height by doing this both of them involve multiplying the area times two and then dividing it by the other unknown or by the other side that is known to you so they want the base right so you will choose between these that are, this should be on your study sheet right there's this one and notice that you're basically just swapping these two right and your formula so which one are you going to pick to do this one they want the, the base so you're going to pick this one here you are given the height right so base is 2 times 850 divided by, in this case, the height is 45. This is 1700 divided by 45. You get 37.78. Because your calculator gives you this. 7-7, seven, seven, it just keeps going, right? So we round it to this. So that's the base of the triangle, right? Does that make sense, guys? Here, that we're here, yeah. Okay, Brajov, I go, I'm gonna mark you later. So let's do these ones here and try to copy them if you can onto, onto a piece of loose leaf. If not, I'm bringing this, it's here. I, I photocopied it, right? So you, you should be able to get it here. So we, we are only going to worry about the area here. So I'm going to cut this here. I'm going to cut it here. And I get one, two, three. Okay. And the total area I'm just going to say is one plus two plus three. Okay. It's adding those three subsections. So the area for the first uh, shape here is just 14 times 32. 
we get a number there. The second uh, slot here, we know that's 85. But what is this here? Right? We need to figure out this height of that chunk. We have 175. I'm going to use a different color here. Right? We have 175 from here to here. So we're going to go 175 minus the 14 that is here minus the 60. No, sorry. Even I need to correct myself sometimes. We're not going to take the 14 away because the 14 is part of it. If we take 175 and we subtract the 66 from it that is up here, this is what we want to take away to get that leftover. So change this to 66, please. And that'll equal to, right, that'll be 169 minus 60, it's 109. So that's the 109 I'm going to use a different color for because it doesn't show up right on the original. So you have to do a little bit more work there. And then for the third section here, that's just 78 times 175, right? Length times width. And let's calculate now. I, I believe that it's better to first write down what it is that you're going to do and then do the calculations, just so you're not sidetracked. This is 13,650. So total area will be these added up. We get 23,363, and we are in square feet, right? And I could ask you for the perimeter, but we're just going to stick with area, right? But perimeter is a fairly simple concept. It's just adding all the distance all around this thing, okay? B, you got to pay attention to this one. I, I, I see a lot of students struggling with this semicircle here. Okay. So <clears throat> I'm going to give it, give it a slightly different approach. Right. This is one, two, and this is three. One is a semicircle, right? area of semicircle go look it up in your study sheet okay this is not going to be in your formula sheet but it is going to be in your study sheet hopefully if you copied it okay and here it is again if you didn't get it right um, it would be pi times radius squared divided by two because it's half of the uh, circle, right? So what is my radius? This is the diameter, right? That's the diameter. So radius is going to be 74 divided by 2, right? Which is 37 kilometers. So that's my radius. That's what I'm, I'm going to plug in here. So pi times 37 squared divided by 2. So 
let's leave that there and calculate that a little later. Okay, that that'll be the semicircle, and then the second section is the easier one. Area of that rectangle would be, and this one is tricky. I made this one a little trickier. I I agree. Okay, we know that the hole from top to bottom is 198. Okay, so. I'm going to use a uh, pink, pink highlighter here. So if this is 198 from top to bottom here, if we were to subtract this and this, we get this stretch right here. So if you go 198 minus this minus that, we get this the width here of that rectangle okay and what is this here from from the center to the side this is the radius right and the radius it doesn't matter where you go is the same okay so this here is 37 which we've calculated here we know that this is 37 okay so now we have the 37 and we have the 65. So we can find this stretch right here. So let's do that. So we go 198 minus 65 minus the 37 here. Okay. You have to just open your eyes and look around, right? What is What do I know? So this is 96 kilometers, right? So now I know that this, the, this is 96 kilometers and this from end to end is given to me by the 356 down here. So I'm gonna go 356 times 96. And we're gonna get a number there. And now we're gonna do the last one, which is area of a triangle. Sorry, triangle there, which would be the base of this, which is 74, times the height. We're always used to height going up, right? But they meet at a 90 right here. So times the height of that triangle would be 65. And we divide it by two, because that's the formula for a triangle. And now we're going to calculate these and add it all up to get our total areas. So watch how I compute the top, okay? You go pi times 37 squared, hit equals, you go divided by 2. That's 215, uh, 215.42. And then we have 356 times 96, 34,176. And then we have the last one there, which is 74 times 65 divided by 2, 2405. And down here, we're just going to say total area. We're going to just add them all up. Thirty-eight, seven, thirty-one, forty-two. If you got this right, give yourself a pat on the back because it wasn't easy, right? So many things that could go wrong here. A couple of things to remember too is that the area of the triangle and the area of the semicircle should not be bigger than the rectangle in the middle, right? Like if you do some calculation and it, it looks, it, the number is bigger than the 34,000, then you made a mistake, right? So write this down. And again, I'll, you will get the 
actual physical copy when you come in. So you just staple it. All right. 